Oh, now we're recording. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another Scatcast Battle Report. This today we play Stomper Madness versus Dark Elder Warmaster's Army. Okay, we're playing on the Stratford Gaming Union basement table of Doom. And we're playing War Masters Mission 1, Gather Information, which is very similar to a Maelstrom of War mission. We'll go over uh, stuff when we've deployed. This is going to be awesome. Okay, so mission. Gather information. We have 15 looters in a building. We have 20 boys. We have 20 boys with power claw knobs. We have Grimace piloting a stomper. That uh, the orcs deployed first, by the way. And we have a bunch of flash kits with bad ruck in a truck. The counter deployment for the Eldar. We have two ravagers. Venom, venom, venom empty. No, the empty venom is over there. Uh, venom right here. Uh, grotesques with the uh, autark in there. Another venom, and the lamian is deployed back here behind there by that objective. In reserve, I have outflanking war walkers. Outflanking Mandrakes, regular reserving Scourge, and a Razorwing to come in, and a deep striking Warp Spiders unit. Now, I do get to try and seize the initiative. I got Labyrinthine Cunning, so I get to re-roll my seize initiative roll, and he has a super heavy for a plus one on the dice. And everybody seems to be very interested in what I'm going to roll here. So, first attempt at a 5+. plus. It is a one. Second attempt at a five plus. Also, it is also a one. <laughs> It'll be orc. Turn one. It jumps back into reserve. Um, orc turn uh, ha, ha, one. Ha, ha. The looters blew up that venom. The uh, he picked uh, secure objective two, so these orcs have secured objective two for a point. Uh, these orcs have moved and ran behind the building. He has Badruck and his Flash gets that move behind the Stomper in a supporting role. Stomper loosed, opened up, killed a Venom, and put two hull points on a Jinking Ravager. But he did loose all of his missiles, and the Super Gatler has not run out of ammunition. So I do have a morale test to make for these two Cablite Warriors that got, they've exploded, so that's not there anymore. And uh, are they pinned? They are running away, actually, because they passed their pinning test. And they go six inches backwards. We're moving on to Dark Eldar, turn one, and it's two points. One secondary for first blood, and one primary for the Orc Horde. Oh. Dark Eldar, turn one. I went for Ascendancy, which is control any three objective markers. Boosted up a Venom to that objective here. Boosted up a Ravager to that objective there, but blocked off the pathway for the walker so he can't get through there this ravager fired through that hole there to the truck in the back putting one hull point on it blowing off its gun we killed three models from that unit and we killed five models out of the 15 mob of looters while this raider with the grotesques has boosted up the flank and we're moving on to orc turn two and it's one point to the Dark Eldar, two points to the Orcs. Turn two for the Orc Horde. The Orcs began the turn by advancing, picking hold the line. The looters stayed in the deployment zone to hold the line. They opened fire, blew up the grotesque raider that looked awesome. First game, of course, so it has to die. Um, <clears throat> then the Venom and the Ravager died. The Stomper ran out of Super Gatler shots, no! unloading everything into the Ravager that was behind cover. And the Ravager lost uh, one Lance and has taken two hull points, but it's still alive and it's immobilized. And then that uh, truck full of guys fired into that Venom. Other than that, nothing else really happened except that they got another point so we're going on to dark eldar turn two and we're rolling for reserves so we have the scourge coming in on a three plus and they do arrive on a four i have the uh, warp spiders arriving on a three plus and i will add plus one with the autark to bring them in 
I have the Dire Avengers arriving on a 3+, plus, and I will add plus one with the Otark to bring them in. I have the Warwalkers out flanking, and they will come in on a 3+. Plus. I have the Razorwing Jet Fighter, and I will bring him in with the plus one from the Autark. And I believe that is the entirety of the reserves. That Oh, and the Mandrakes. Ha ha, Mandrakes. Can't forget them. They roll a five, and they're coming in too. We'll be back after Dark Eldar turn two. Dark Eldar turn two. Reserves arrived in full force. The Mandrakes came on this side. Razorwing came on this side. Wave Serpent came on this side. The Warwalkers arrived on that side. I picked behind enemy lines. I put two hull points on the Warwalkers, on the Stomper, sorry, with the Scourge and some shooting from this blaster here or that Ravager, someone like that. But he's going to repair it because it's full of mechs. I immobilized that um, and it has no guns, it's immobilized, it, but it's still alive with all the flash inside. At least it can't move around anymore. And then the rest of the shooting focused on that unit of boys killing it, but I did have a stray rocket from the <laughs> razor wing hit the, um, the warp spiders nearby and kill three of the warp spiders. Oops. So that wasn't fun for them. And then the grotesque ran into the looters and murdered all of the looters while um, this unit of boys did take quite a few casualties from the um, the wave serpent that shot everything it had at it. So we're moving the uh, Dark Elder Eldar do get another point for behind enemy lines. We're moving on to um, Orc turn three. The only thing is the Orcs don't have any objective markers it would seem which would make their objectives hard. Okay, let's see what happens. Orc turn three. Uh, capture objective one in the middle was the objective. The orcs moved up to capture it. Stomper moving into the middle. Knocked the statue over. We house ruled that that's possible. But failed a six inch charge against no! the little Cabalite warriors. Um, other than that, this unit of Cabalite warriors took some damage and the war walkers lost a member to crazy shooting uh, flash gets of doom. So we're moving on to Dark Eldar turn three. Dark Eldar turn three. So I had two objectives this turn. I uh, chose to secure objective two and to overwhelming firepower kill a unit in the shooting phase. And so I killed the truck finally. I put four more hull points on the stomper with all the scourge, the ravager, and this blaster and the razor wing and everything else shot into this big unit of orcs and I brought it down and then the last of the warp spiders charged in and there's a, an exarch with power blades with one wound remaining um, it's stuck in combat there to stop the orcs from really doing anything my warlord and unit decided to stay back there to prevent getting shot by a strength 10 blast that would just annihilate them and with that the Dark Eldar have gotten two additional points now we're testing for the tournament so it is time uh, we have two hours to play the game we've played three turns which is enough to get points giving the Dark Eldar a victory at the end of this game so make sure you stay tuned for the tactical corner and for the full report on the War Masters challenge let's see how this army has done. Also stay tuned for a full review of the actual army selection. Darren, who yes. was my opponent? Any last comments? Um, I kind of threw this army together at the last minute. It's a modification of a 1500 point army I'm taking to a uh, charity event in a couple months. Um, I, what it happened, uh, what I expected to happen happened. I got outflanked by the sneaky Eldar and they used their cheaty phase to um, start to take me apart in detail, but the Stompa uh, stomped on and I'm confident it would uh, make it to the end of the game with, with at least some of its hope points intact. Um, otherwise it was a great game, it was great to finally play Ridfin again after all these years and uh, stay tuned for more fun battle reports. Awesome, and this is Scar, your grateful host. Thanks a lot to all the patrons who support the channel and make this possible. This is Scarry out. <laughs>